Hello and welcome back to Sunless Sunday, where we sail the Sunless Sea with me, Barden, and Lady Sakura. Right, so let's see what's going on here. This is a suspicious collector, so we need... Ah, we need Zumperine, okay. And we need a Zumperine for that as well. Probably need higher terror for that. Yeah, we do. Okay. But when we explore Vendabite, we could end up with that. Okay, well, let's gather a gossip. So we get a portal port. Then we visit the first curator. I don't think he's going to say anything new, though. Let's. And ask about the Grand Sanatorium. Okay, so nothing really new there for us. Yeah. So we've got one of those, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. We've never noticed that on our travels that we actually done it, but apparently we had. Okay. Let's explore around the white door and see. Here they favour candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swag like cobwebs. The tomb columns stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture. Until they laugh or cough. One building of three seems abandoned. Okay, so we can picnic, we could uh, search warily, let's see that. The need is rarely gentle, treat this place as enemy territory. Let's see that. Ancient stones, you can just about interpret these glyphs. They speak of a god who lives in the roof, a walking dream of storm, a memory of rage. The god, the glyphs claim, destroyed this temple. Interesting, so... So if the glyphs speak, so the glyphs must have been put there after the temple was destroyed, because otherwise, how could they tell the story of the god destroying? Okay, so maybe the temple was to a different god. Either way, it's interesting. We probably can't explore anymore. No, we can't. Okay. And then shop wise, well, we could have got some. Oh, we can only sell those here actually. And then those are pretty expensive. What else do we have though? I think we might get a better price for that there than we do in London. And then we don't have any two commas to sell. Right, so. I guess that means that we should depart and head north. So Wither is our next destination. Normally we run into a lifeboat somewhere up here, so be careful with that. And also we have to be careful on our fuel to make sure that we can actually get, because we, we have to get all the way to Port Parmesan, which is Generally, where we try to refuel when we're going in an orderly direction. I'm just curious whether we discovered that bluff before, because we don't generally head in that direction when we go north, but we have, which is good. When you look at the map, actually, we've got like so much of it has been covered. In. We've got little bits that's close to London, which don't really matter that much. But then over here, you know, can't shadow. We need to do, and then this area definitely needs to explore at some stage. <laughs> oh, excuse 
excuse me, and then in here as well. But kind of knowing that there's nothing, there are things to discover, but there are no ports to discover. Kind of, you know, makes it less less likely that we, we would go and uncover it. But at some stage, we will uncover it. It's just about trying to cover as you know, pretty much all of the map, at least all of the map that we can uncover. Because there's parts you know, inland that we we wouldn't be able to reach. Okay, but on we go. Hopefully, oh, I was going to say, hopefully avoiding the lifeguard, but there it is there. We could shoot it, which would be a really stupid move on our part. Hopefully it's slow though. Now, I want to get around this boy. If we do that, then it's going to be stuck. Slow down. It should if we yeah, get stuck long enough to leave us alone. Maybe, maybe not. We may not take our lives into our hands now. Okay, I think we did it though. Let's go around there. And there we go, okay. The House of the Question. Northwest of Ruder Town, the House of the Question stands alone. Okay, um. Should we do that first, or let's get a port report for us? Can we gather intelligence? The citizens of Wither enjoy questions, so much so that they always answer a question with another question. This can make intelligence gathering frustrating. Are you asking for any particular reason? At what time of day? Is that your hat? Might it be six? It could be six. Eventually you cobble together enough implication and supposition to compose a report. Do some shore leave. We don't really need to though. Let's check out the question. Here, okay. Not west of Wither Town, the house of the question stands alone. Here, the initiates of the house make offerings to the three gods of the deep sea, perhaps a fort who is not a god. It's the one place in Wither where you can sometimes get a straight answer, for a price. But we can't we, Oh, um, we could ask about the drowned man, though. We don't want to defy the gods, that would be probably stupid. The initiates of the house are looking to speak of him, but you may be able to bribe them enough to gain a few tenuous snippets. The law and the loss. The drowned man's brother, I, and sister, brothers, I, and sisters, gave him to the knives and the lacquer. Here we have no lacquer, only snow. Snow comes from the north, lacquer comes from pain. We have it a little easier. Okay, so we lost a hundred echoes. Okay, so I'm not sure what that actually gained this thing. Maybe it, maybe it advanced the story. Let's explore the town. Wither is a quiet, chilly town of grey stone and closed courtyards. The people are neither exactly unfriendly nor exactly hospitable. They have the irritating habit of answering question with a question. Here and there, there are odd sights tucked away. Okay, fisher folk sailors, a shady couple of likely pirates, and is there a drowny down at by the water's edge? They sit round a fire at the sea's edge, passing around a bottle of something viscously black. They're wagering on wriggles. Will you join them? Let's bet an echo on one of the simpler wriggles. A whale's eye! Oh, hang on. One of the fishermen is bursting to strike. A whale's eye, the fisherman chuckles and pounds the ground with a, with a fist. City folk, he calls. City folk, pay up. Pages challenge failed, okay. And um, we don't need shore leave. The shops are probably expensive. But we can actually buy with stories here. That'd be 
looks nice to do. Then here, we could buy supplies for Tales of Terror. That would be good. Because we have plenty of those. Yep, yeah, so... Let's see that. Okay. Let's put it in the ice, actually. Now, where do we go from here? Over to Codex. And then down. Okay. Let's get the Codex. Kind of forget about Codex because it's just about peeping onto the map here. Scratch and then the bloody life bird turns up. It scares the absolute crap out of me. Okay, but it's leaving us alone, which is good. But I don't kind of. Oh, it's not really leaving us alone, is it? I was kind of tempted though to head a bit further north just to uncover sexism in that. Okay, let's back her off. So you don't. We're fine for supplies, but fuel wise, we're not doing all that well. The weather's going to come barreling around the corner. I'm just going to bash into the side. There we go. Okay, the Isle of Codex. Let's compile a port report. The exiles see many come, few or leave. Some are even willing to communicate, but their gestures are unfamiliar, their meaning is unclear. Even when you can understand, there are answers without questions, as useless as a key without a lock. Okay, and then everything else then. We don't have the Syrian Enigma. And that's all kind of submarine stuff. Okay. Shop wise then. To buy fuel for 20, I don't really want to. I think we're going to be okay. Just about. And you know, I think there's plenty of places willing to sell fuel for twenty anyway, so let's but let's go a little north now because Lifeberg is in a good position for us to be able to just just to clear a little bit of the map. Send the Z went out just to see if we can pick something up. Not to get rid of it. We never know. Well, we do kind of know, but there we go. So we got that bit of the map done. Now I think it's yeah. Now the frost frame next. And it's weird. Like they they don't want people going inside, but they're still hospitable to people who just kind of pull up and say hi, so we will we'll do that. We don't really want to be going inside. Not again, anyway. Okay, so I think that angle is just about right to get us at least within a good distance of it. I think a terror might be low enough to actually enter, but they said we don't really want to. Looking at our fuel as well, our fuel consumption, we may, may struggle to get the port arms on the fuel we have at the moment. We 
we'll see how we how we stand though after we leave here. And I think probably Avid Horizon will be where we'll end the episode. Stoddard's Haven. It certainly is a haven. When you think of like Quaker's Haven, this is at least at this point in the game more of a haven, isn't it? This dock. We could do our tea. We don't enter. Let's get our port report first. Then I want to take tea. A surprisingly warm welcome. We keep the steps for the games of truth, a helpful riddle fisher explains, as she fills your cup for the third time. Every year the people of Ireland and Wither meet here for, she pauses, contests. She finishes vaguely. The difference between a question and a riddle. One day someone will prove themselves enough to enter the castle. You spend a pleasant few hours. While the tea is supplemented with Irene liqueurs, Pale, wither, and beer, and something the riddle fisher describes blandly as snake cake. They offer you fuel and supplies before you leave. We keep enough to spare. The riddle fisher grins. From time to time, a captain gets lost and comes up here, and we always feel bad for them. Well, one supply and one fuel, that's good news. Now, shops. Okay, we don't have shops. So they, they do basically only keep it for uh, people who are lost, I guess, because otherwise they would be selling it as well. Right, so next. Next for us is leaving here and heading to the Chapel of Light. And the Chapel of Light really is only a stop, it's on the way to Abbot Horizon, so it's not really a stop to get a port report because otherwise we're not really particularly interested in the chapel because we made the mistake before of um, feasting there and ended up like with voracious hunger and eating our crew and not good things generally. So it was like basically we turned into the walking dead on sea I guess. Walking Dead on Sea sounds like sounds like a place in England. <laughs> Anyone who's familiar with English place names know know that on sea and um, things like that are are part of the or were part of the naming convention in the past. But hopefully we won't be eating too many of our crew. I've got a great chef as well. So he should be able to rustle up better things than, than crew to eat. Say as well, it's kind of it's a bit strange to be to be home in Ireland and to be making videos because when I started YouTubing, this is the yeah I think it's the first time I've been back to Ireland since I started YouTubing. Yeah, because I've been doing it a year, and it was a yeah a year and a half since the last time I came back to Ireland. So yeah, first time back as a YouTuber. And I actually like the my old PC, my old towers here as well. And not this one, the one I had before this tower. 
Um, that's the one I used to use to make my um, oh, run, run. That thing's gonna kill us. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna kill us. Oh, it misses that man. I'm not sure why. But it's gonna catch us up. Maybe. That nomad. It's chasing. Look, it's it doesn't know it's chasing us, but it is chasing us. Let's back off. Let's try and get ourselves over to Chapel of Light. I think with that little diversion, it's probably best to end things to Chapel of Light. But yeah, um, I used to make YouTube videos. Like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't call myself back then a YouTuber. This is back when, kind of around the time YouTube was starting out, and I used to make different types of videos. They, they were basically um, some videos were just recordings of gameplay on Final Fantasy XI that I used to play, and then the other videos were basically story the story of Final Fantasy XI set to music. So I take cutscenes from the main stories and then um, edit it to music and stuff uh, but that's a long long time ago but I kind of sitting here at this desk now kind of reminds me of those times as well we definitely need to get in here before it kills us yes screw you buddy okay chap of light fuck you chap of light okay give a nightmare to the well The well drinks colour, the smiling priest whispers, the well drinks dreams, and the well is always thirsty. This will reduce your nightmare strength, but also scar you permanently, increase your wounds by one. Three wounds will kill you. Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay. I think gather intelligence is the only thing we really want to do. What occurs here between the darkness and the light? A smiling priest in a red cassock tends to chat. The congregation are shy of light. They come and go in little ships, and it's strangely difficult to count them. Perhaps some of them are imaginary. Still, note the name of a ship or two. Okay, and that's our port port. Right, so what we'll do now, I think, is end the episode there. So, as always, if you have enjoyed this episode, please just hit that like button, sharing with a friend or two, or maybe on social media, something like that. I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.